Nope. Most big cities across the country have a hotel with stories of hauntings and paranormal activity. Chicago has its share of haunts, but when it comes to hotels, none can hold a flame to the Congress Plaza Hotel. Located in the beautiful downtown loop area of the city, the Congress has left its impression on many travelers to the Windy City. Though unlike many other haunted infrastructure, the stories that surround the historic hotel are very often similar in nature and seem to support one another when told. The following are the most common historic lore and reports made by guests of the Congress. Number 1. Gangster Activity Chicago was home to many infamous gangsters of the 1920s and 30s. This included the legendary Al Capone, who at one point even owned the Congress. Between all the business meetings and nights spent within the walls, it's no surprise that the spirit of Big Al has been said to still be lingering within the Congress. Visitors regularly claim to spot Capone's ghost, often at the bar and lounge areas of the hotel. Number 2. Peg Leg Johnny Despite his fancy nickname, Peg Leg Johnny was not one of the notorious gangsters that stayed at the Congress. Apparently, Johnny was a hobo who suffered an untimely death, possibly even murdered, on the premises of the hotel. A few legends claim his body was buried within the walls of the hotel. To be precise, it was in the closet of the luxurious Gold Room, a venue often used for bachelor and bachelorette parties. Unlike most spirits, Johnny has not been reported to be hostile or menacing in any way, but instead has been deemed a prankster. Reports claim the spirits of Johnny will visit both towers of the hotel, messing with lights, appliances, and even posing as a stripper for a group of drunk bridesmaids. One of those things is a lie. Number 3. The Hand of Mystery Speaking of the Gold Room, that is where guests can find what has been coined as the Hand of Mystery. While some claim that it's Peg Like Johnny, whose corpse was stuffed into the wall, others claim that it was a member of the hotel staff who got trapped behind it, causing him to suffocate. Despite the origin, it is said that the guests have seen a gloved hand sticking out of the closet. Could it be the murdered corpse of Peg Like Johnny? Or perhaps the hand of a young bellboy desperately reaching out for help? Number 4. Room 441 Reported to be the most haunted room in the Congress, guests staying in room 441 are the most common to report issues to the hotel staff. Issues they have claimed to deal with include hearing bumps and scratches, things moving on their own, knocking coming from inside the room, extreme cold sensations and consistent sightings of the hazy, gray figure of a woman who watches you while you sleep. Number 5. The Forbidden Room On the 12th floor of the Congress is a room that was apparently so disturbing that it was literally locked away from the general public. Wander around the floor and things will appear normal. The doors will have the standard hotel style handles, complete with card key readers. That is until you reach the forbidden room. The door leading inside has no doorknob and instead has a piece of metal with a padlock securing its entry. Those who pass the room claim to hear noises coming from within. No reports ever seem to know exactly what happened to cause such drastic measures to be taken, but there is one story that might explain it. Number 6 motherly murder. There are conflicting claims of whether this tragedy took place on the 12th floor, 6th floor, or 4th floor of the North Tower, but regardless, it is an incident that has been confirmed to be true. 
In the 1930s, a European immigrant and her two sons were staying at the Congress Plaza. Suffering from deep depression, the mother made the diabolical choice to not only take her own life, but the life of her two boys. She is said to have done this by throwing the children off the balcony to their deaths before following her offspring herself. Guests of the hotel have claimed to see apparitions of the children still lingering in that part of the hotel. If this tragedy did in fact happen on the 12th floor, it is possible that that was the incident that led to the forbidden room being barred off. There are several other reports of sightings other than those listed here, but they are scarce and vary from those that are most common. The six you just heard are the most notorious occurrences to be reported by guests. If you want to check out specific accounts from guests and what they encountered, check out websites like Yelp, TripAdvisor, etc. and read the reviews for the hotel. They very well may be exaggerated or outright fabricated, but after reading a few, you'll notice a common trend. Many of the guests had no idea that the hotel was allegedly haunted. They did not begin their nights with fear lurking in the back of their minds that may have caused their imaginations to create hallucinations. So, if you ever find yourself visiting the hustle and bustle of downtown Chicago, why not stay a night at the Congress? It's right in the heart of the city's sophisticated architecture and beautiful scenery. You're not going to let a few ghost stories hold you back from that, are you? Thank you for listening. I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. I was really excited to feature the Congress Plaza Hotel as being from Chicago. I myself have heard stories. A good friend of mine staying in the hotel says she claimed to hear banging coming from the stairwell and that her door kept trying to open by itself from the other side. It could have been just a bunch of creepers, but either way we can agree that's pretty unnerving. If you really like this video and haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you do so for more videos that'll have you saying nope. Stay safe out there.